my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Friday, so it's weigh-in day. It is the first weigh-in of March. I cannot believe we're already in the month of March and I have some fun goals set for the month that I'm excited to share with you guys. I'll also be talking with you about this week's workshop topic and of course sharing this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited for another weigh-in video, give this one a big huge thumbs up and if you're new to my channel or you're not yet subscribed, of course I'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn the bell on next to it so you don't miss a single video. We do these weigh-ins every single Friday so you definitely don't want to miss out. Check the description box for my meal planner. I am on the last batch that I'm ordering so if you've been eyeing this or if you're able to work this into your budget, highly recommend. Huge game changer. Good for an entire year. Perpetual so you can start and stop whenever you need to. So pick one up down in the description box. Also on my nutrition coaching site, you'll find my personalized macro and calorie calculation. Let me help you reach your goals, whether it's weight loss or maintenance, by giving you your calorie deficit or your maintenance calories and your macronutrients to reach for every single day. One-on-one -on -one coaching is also available if you're looking for a little bit more individualized support. Links, discount codes to my favorite things, as well as my Facebook group, another community that would love to have you, is also down in the description box. So let's talk about this week, set some goals for the next week, go over the workshop topic, and of course, give you my way in. Let's jump in. to talk to you guys a little bit about my week. I was pretty excited to start a new month, to be honest with you. February was a good month overall. I shared my total weight loss in last week's weigh-in video, but I have been extra motivated to make some additional changes in the month of March. In my Facebook group, I offer quarterly challenges, and right now we're in the New Year, New You Challenge, and as a collective challenge group, we decided to make March all about physical activity. So I have set myself some new physical movement physical activity goals for the month of March. I consistently go to Jazzercise three times a week, but I really wanted to push myself and I prompted my challenge members to also push themselves in the month of March when it comes to setting some activity goals. So for myself, my March goals are I'm going to do Jazzercise three times per week. I'm going to get no less than five to 6,000 steps on my non-active days. So that means days that I'm not working out at Jazzercise or days that I'm not having intentional activity. But one thing that I've added to the mix for the month of March is I'm going to take a walk outside at least one time per week. I didn't set a timeline on the walk. I just said that I was going to take an outside, enjoy the scenery walk at least once a week to get in a fourth day of movement. Now that might not sound like a lot, but that's a challenge for me because jazzercise is such an intense workout that I'm usually pretty sore. Not to mention I have a house to clean and a business to run and a YouTube channel to make videos for. So I'm a super busy person and adding a fourth day in is giving myself a push and a stretch, but I'm excited about it because the weather here is just starting to get a little bit better and I'm excited to be able to venture out and take that walk. So again, for the month of March, I am being in jazzercise three times a week, taking a walk at least one time per week and shooting for five to 6,000 steps on my non-active days. So I got in my walk this week, did my three days of jazzercise and overall, had a pretty good week that I'm proud of. Moving into the second week, which is the first full week of the month of March. So now let's talk about this week's workshop topic, and that is setting goals that really work. We're gonna talk about the STAR method. Now, if I remember right, we've talked about this in past workshop topics, but for some reason, I feel like the STAR method is different this time around. But nonetheless, we're gonna talk about this week's workshop topic, the STAR method and setting some goals that actually work. STAR stands for specific, truly doable, active, and relevant. So maybe that is the same STAR method that WW's discussed in the past. So setting goals is important, but setting goals around what truly works for you is even more important. Make sure that your goals are small goals, they're buildable goals, which means all of these small goals equal your overall large goal. Make sure that they're truly, truly doable for you. Don't set yourself up for failure right out of the gate. And make sure that the goals that you're setting will help build your confidence. So there's three questions to ask yourself when it comes to setting your goals 
per the WW workshop. Number one is what skills do I have? Number two, what are my tendencies? Number three, what are my preferences? So first of all, what skills do I have? Where do you excel? Are you someone that's very organized? Are you someone that's very driven? Maybe you love recreating fun WW recipes or healthy recipes in your kitchen. So maybe organizing a binder that houses all of those recipes would be a good resource for you. And number two, what are my tendencies? Are you someone that's up and at them first thing in the morning? That is totally me. I am very much a morning person. So how about taking a walk first thing in the morning or getting in your activity first thing in the morning? I find that when I do jazzercise Friday and Saturday mornings, I get a much better workout than my Tuesday night. And that's because I'm much more of a morning person. I know that about myself. I know that's my tendency. So for me, it would make sense to book my workouts or my walks or activities in the mornings. And number three, what are your preferences? Is your nightstand piled high and packed with books? Reading is obviously a preference of yours. Maybe try reading a little bit before you go to bed to really unwind and relax from the day. So answering these three questions is really important to set yourself up with star goals, truly doable, active, relevant goals that will work for you. So I enjoyed this topic. I feel like it's fairly a repetitive topic that we talk about a lot, but I think that's because WW really wants to push the fact that setting doable small goals is really important for our healthy lifestyle and our weight loss journey. So now let's jump into this week's weigh-in. Like I mentioned, I had a good week. I felt like I had a very successful week. I stayed within my calories, within my points. I did my three days of jazzercise and took my walk. It has been in the high 50s to 60 here, which is warm for this time of year. And I've been really enjoying that crisp walk outside. It's been actually really, really good for my soul. So when I stepped on the scale today, my first weigh-in in the month of March, I'm down an additional 1.2 pounds. I am ready to kill the month of March. I want to see a big loss at the end of the month. Now I know that I can only control so much. I also know, and you guys know that the scale isn't the be all end all for me, but I would like to see a good number as a loss at the end of March. This extra added activity is just going to keep me extra motivated. I'm setting some small goals along the way. I'm going to up my walk time as the month goes on. I just have a lot of exciting things happening in March and I'm of course am going to share everything along the way with you guys. So now I want to hear from you. How was your week? How was it when you stepped on the scale? Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? And what do you think about this star method when it comes to setting some goals? Definitely leave it down in the comments. I can't wait to hear from you guys. If you enjoyed today's weigh-in, give it a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you're watching and you're not subscribed, please join my channel and hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you ring the bell next to it, it notifies you whenever I upload. That way you're not missing a single video. Again, check out the description box for nutrition coaching, macros, calories, as well as links, discount codes to my favorite things. And head on over and join us on Facebook. We'd absolutely love to have you there. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Friday. I'll see you all in tomorrow's massive, it is stock up time, grocery haul. Bye friends.